Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the mayor and the police commissioner and members of the 103 precinct and the Byrne family, we welcome you to the police officer Edward Byrne Memorial. At this time, I'd like to introduce Father Manuel Rodriguez for our invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be always with you. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, we're here tonight to remember and to honor the life of a young officer, Officer Edward Byrne, who died here in this place 27 years ago, not as a helpless victim, but as a soldier, a brave, courageous soldier in the fulfillment of his duties. We today pray so that his example, his inspiration can touch the lives of the new generations, all of all the members of the family, which is the New York Police Department. Let us pray. Lord God, you are always faithful and quick to show mercy. Our brother, Edward Byrne, was suddenly and violently taken away from us. Come swiftly to our aid. Have mercy on him and have mercy on us and comfort his family and friends and the family of the New York Police Department by the power and protection of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Reading the inscription on the plaque will be the 103rd Precinct PBA Delegate Police Officer Gerardo Perón. Early in 1988 in New York City, like many other cities, was in the midst of a drug war that seemed out of control. Civilians stood in the way of drug dealers, were verbally threatened, physically attacked, or even killed. There seemed to be no way to reunite the public, the police, and reverse the drug epidemic. This would all change on February 26, 1988. In the early morning hours, police officer Edward R. Byrne, newly assigned to the 103 precinct, was sitting his RMP on the corner of 107 Avenue and Inwood Street. He was there guarding the house of a family who had defied the drug dealers and agreed to testify against them. At approximately 3.30 a.m., four armed men crept on both sides of Officer Byrne's RMP. Without uttering a word, they fired into the car, striking Officer Byrne in the head. All four men fled the scene, but six days later were captured. Officer Byrne was rushed to Mary Michael Hospital, where he, where he died. This cowardly and brazen act by the drug dealers was the catalyst that united the police department and the communities of the work to work together and find a solution to the drug problem. As a result of Officer Byrne's death, units such as TNT, SNU, were created along with expansions of the narcotics units, some of which are still in existence today. I request that everyone have a moment of silence, please. Thank you, Officer Perron. I now like to introduce the President of the PPA, Patrick Lynch. Thank you, Lieutenant. On this night, at this time, at this site, an assassination happened that rattled this city to its core. It rattled this city to its core because there were criminals that were so brazen that they'd assassinate a New York City police officer. And people knew that if police officers weren't safe, the community wasn't safe. And what that officer was doing was protecting a citizen who had said, enough is enough, and I will testify against the criminals that are the plight of our streets. But it became the catalyst. It became the catalyst when this city decided 
to take this street back, to take this block back, neighborhood and city, and we did. We stopped until every drug dealer we can find was put behind bars. And what makes this so special here today is in the NYPD we say we will not forget. When a brother or sister police officer falls, that's when we stand up. And it's the police officers of the 103 who from that first year and every year on made sure that this block had a police officer standing in silence, remembering a hero who laid down their life for each and every one of us. And the reality is, we stand up for police officer Byrne, because if the roles were reversed, he would stand up for us. The reality we know as police officers that that night on this corner, the call came for Eddie. But the reality is, if that tap on the shoulder came today to any one of you, you would accept it, you would do it, and if called upon, you'd die for this city. I'm proud to stand here with you, not only as a New York City police officer, but a father who reared his children here in this city. I did that because men and women like you were willing to protect my right to speak what I will, worship where I like, and say what I please, and you defend that right. God bless you, not only on behalf of every other New York City police officer, but every other father or mother in these houses that now are looking out, watching you stand shoulder to shoulder to remember a New York City police officer who fell this night at this time, at this site. Thank you. It's now my pride and pleasure to introduce the Police Commissioner of the City of New York, John Will William J. Bratton. Pat, as always, thank you for your eloquence. Last year I had, shortly after my appointment, the privilege of being asked to attend this ceremony. Since its inception, year following the death of uh, police officer Eddie Byrne, no police commissioner had ever attended this event. This will be my second time, and I'm pleased to have been invited once again to return. The symbolism that Pat talked about cannot be overstated of the significance of the death of police officer Eddie Byrne. His life, his sacrifice, began the change in this city a change that has continued to this day as it has gotten safer and safer due to the hard work of the men and women of the New York City Police Department, your predecessors, and those of you who are now privileged, like myself, to wear the badge that means so much to the safety and security of this city. Each day I also have the privilege of working with Eddie's brother, Larry Byrne, now our Deputy Commissioner for Legal Matters. And earlier tonight, as I did last year, I had the opportunity to talk with a number of people who were members of the department back then, and they shared their memories of that night and their memories of those days. Pat talked about those days, that when I was commissioner in 1994, there were over 8,000 documented open-air drug locations where you could buy drugs in the city of New York. Open-air, plain view. The city has changed dramatically. And the city has changed dramatically because of the legacy of Eddie Byrne, because that's when it began to turn around. That was the watershed moment. Pat talked about the idea that as a family, we commit to you that if you are to die in the line of duty, if you are to give your life for this city, that we'll take care of your families and that we'll never forget. Tonight, is the continuing commitment to that promise, that promise that was made to the Buren family that has been committed to each year since. And that will be made to the Ramos and the Lou family every year going forward. It's what we do. We remember, we cherish, 
we honor. And those of us that continue to live and serve, we serve with pride. And I want to thank each and every one of you who are here tonight for honoring the memory of Eddie Byrne and honoring the commitment that we make that we will never forget. Thank you. And thank you, Commissioner Bratton. It's now my honor to introduce the mayor of the city of New York, the Honorable Bill de Blasio. Thank you very much. I want to thank everyone for being here on this solemn occasion. Looking at this vehicle and feeling like somehow we can transport ourselves to that moment. Think about a 22-year-old young man just starting his life who believed in something, who was willing to serve others and put his life on the line for their protection. He was a guardian, an asylum guardian doing that which we wish all people would do in this society, stand up for something bigger and better. A young man who believed in something. He was taken from us so young and he could never have known what his life would later mean to all of us and that it would begin such a profound turnaround. He was doing something for the right reasons and with a sense of courage, and commitment, and purpose like so many people that day and every day since who have worn the uniform of the NYPD. His family lost a good and brave young man. His family remembers and has remembered every single day. And by that, I mean both his biological family and the family of the NYPD. His brother continues this work and this commitment to this day in this department. And I say to Larry and to all the family, it's an honor to spend this moment with you in remembrance. But after this tragedy, as you've heard, a turnaround did begin. It's a turnaround that everyone here should be so proud of. So many people here participated in and brought this city to a place that that tragic night would have been beyond our wildest imagination. But today in this city, because of your efforts, we have a place transformed, a place so much safer, a place that people can live in peace. We owe it to you to always appreciate and remember what you do to make that possible, to make sure we're protecting the guardians who protect all of us. And you have my commitment and Commissioner Bratton's commitment that we will do that. But tonight, it's so important just to remember a good young man, a good young man represented all that we aspire to be. Thank you. And thank you, Mayor de Blasio. And I'd like to introduce the Deputy Commissioner of Legal Matters, Larry Byrne. Good evening. On behalf of my family, myself, my brother, Steve and Ken, who are here tonight, my mom, Ann, and my dad, Matt, who could not be here tonight, but are very much here in spirit. I want to thank everyone who is here, some of you for the first time, many of you for the 27th time. I want to begin by thanking, in particular, the officers of the 103 precinct and of the department generally, those of you who are currently serving, and the many of you who have retired but come back every year. It's great comfort to my family and to my parents in particular as they have another sleepless night tonight, to know that you all have come out to remember Eddie and to continue to remember Eddie, and we greatly appreciate that. I also want to thank Pat Lynch and the PBA for once again honoring Eddie, the support that the department and the PBA and Pat and the leadership have given to my family over the last 27 years has been extraordinary, and we greatly appreciate it. I want to thank Mayor de Blasio for being here tonight to remember Eddie. One of Mayor de Blasio's first acts as mayor, a newly elected mayor in connection with the police department, 
was when it came to his attention that the four people who assassinated Eddie here, who were convicted in state court, were coming up for parole this past fall. He wrote a very strong letter to the parole commission in Albany opposing parole, just as so many of you have done. And thanks to all of your efforts, these folks were denied parole for the second time this fall. So I want to thank the mayor for that. And I want to thank Police Commissioner Bratton for being here for the second year in a row, for supporting my family, going back to his first time as police commissioner. We were very lucky to have him then. Uh, he didn't mention that the first time he was sworn in as police commissioner, literally his very first act, almost after taking the oath, was to come and visit your precinct house, the 103, to see for himself the neighborhood where Eddie uh, had served briefly and had died. And one of his first acts as police commissioner a year ago, when we were very fortunate to have him back the second time, was to come out here and spend this evening with you and my family. So thank you, Commissioner Bratton. I also want to thank Commissioner Bratton for the special privilege that I have to now serve in this department in which my dad first started serving in 1954, and Eddie served after that. It is a privilege for me to work with all of you and for you, for such an extraordinary uh, and dedicated group of people and the finest police department in the country. I want to thank all of my colleagues, the senior executive leadership staff, uh, the uniform chiefs, and the civilians who've all come out tonight to remember Eddie. Many of them uh, never knew Eddie personally, although many of the chiefs were people who actually worked to apprehend Eddie's assassins back in 1988 in an incredibly professional investigation. So I want to just again, on behalf of my family, thank all of you for being here. It is a great testament to the strength of the department that you come out every year to remember this. And this year, this um, ceremony has a particularly extraordinary significance because it reminds the entire city not only that the dangers that you face every day and that Eddie faced 27 years ago, but that those dangers have not subsided with the tra tragic events of December with the assassination of Detective Ramos and Detective Liu. So I want to close by saying uh, that although Eddie was taken from us too soon, he was killed here five days after his 22nd birthday. Um, a lot of good was done out of the terrible tragedy. All of that good was because of the incredible work and dedication of the officers of the NYPD, those of you who still serve and those of you who retired, to make sure that this is a very different city today than it was 27 years ago. And your extraordinary dedication is uh, to be admired and honored. So thank you all for being here tonight on behalf of my family. And thank you, Commissioner Byrne. I now ask the mayor and the police commissioner to place the wreath by the door, and then Father Rodriguez will end with a benediction prayer. And Commissioner Byrne, yes, thank you. The Lord be with you. Lord, as we mourn the sudden death of our brother Edward Byrne, who died in this place 27 years ago in the accomplishment of his duties as a good police officer of the New York Police Department, show us the immense power of your goodness and strengthen our belief that Edward has entered into your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Byrne family, the Mayor, the Police Commissioner, members of the 103rd Precinct, we thank you all for attending tonight's memorial. Thank you. Yes, yes.